guys, what's up? It's Tim Michael from Tim Michael Arts. We're going to be talking about masking today. I know that I've already talked about masking in the past, but I dare you to go and look for that video after I upload this video because I am totally going to delete that video because I've learned so much more about masking and stuff since I uploaded that, and so I want to make sure that I put up, you know, up-to-date information. So this is like, you know, I write a book and now it's time to rewrite the book and teach you guys something new. So... Anyway, really quickly here, I'm going to go ahead and just draw up something funny. And then I'm going to uh, show you guys my new tricks in masking. Um, just just doing just something stupid um, real quick here. And then also, if you take a look, I've already made a layer over here. And that's the layer that I'm drawing on. You want to make sure that you always uh, draw on a fresh layer anytime that you work on a project. Because if you draw on the background layer, background layer always got a back already has a background color, and so you hurt yourself by doing that, and you end up having to start over, come up with other means and things. Anyway, almost done sketching this out here. All right, there we go. And then we knock in some teeth here. There we go. And kind of funky, huh? There we go. And just a neck. And I know it looks a little weird, but I'm just trying to go through this quick because I'm already spending a minute and 37 seconds on just drawing this guy alone for you here, so I want to be very brief so we can get right into the other stuff. Okay, so as you can see, I already made a layer. I'm going to take that and pull that under my inked layer, this layer here. Okay, and what I'm going to do in, um, there we go. What I'm going to do in layer two is I'm going to start working on my base tones. Now, in my past tutorial that I uh, told you guys about, uh, what I ended up doing was um, I ended up filling it with a different color and then, you know, masking it and then coloring in the color that I wanted. Uh, you don't have to do that, actually. And this is new stuff that I've learned um, more recently, and I know a lot of people still check out my old tutorial, so I want to make sure I give you guys an up-to-date piece of information. All right, uh, let's talk about what, how I'm going to do the base tone. Base tone needs to have a completely hard brush, so I can't have lines where I go over it and then I go over it again and it changes the individual lines that were there first, all right? So what I want to do instead is I want to make sure my opacity is set all the way up, none of my switches are set, and I should be able to paint completely hard lines, okay? And uh, then what I'm going to do, I'll just get rid of those and make that layer. What I'm going to do here is I'm just going to go ahead and begin uh, coloring in my skin tone, which my system is probably freezing up because it's not doing it. Hang on a second. There we go. Now it's going to freak out. Oh, there we go. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to just go ahead and color this in here real quick. Um, I'm not going to do it perfectly, obviously. I'm just trying to rush through here because there's a lot to cover and a little time to cover it. Um, so here we go. Let's go ahead and do it over here as well. And do it down here. Now, I'll let you know, someone asked me if you can do masking on grouped layers. You can. Just do it on the folder instead of on the individual layers. Personally, I prefer the individual layers myself, but you can change that up depending on what you want. All right, so let's say that I've completely colored this in. I've cleaned up all my edges, like over here on top of this eyebrow, there's some skin, so maybe I would have already gone in here and erased that there and cleaned all of the lines up all over the place here. Now that that layer is colored in, and that's the only color on that layer, or any anything that I put in this layer, if I right-click it, and then I say Select Pixels, it's going to select anything that I've done to this piece in here. And then I just hit this Mask button, and there you go. It's masked. Now I can go in with, um, now I can go in here with, uh, whoops, let me change something here real quick. Bing, there we go. Okay. Now I can go in here with another darker skin tone if I really wanted to. And on the layer, you got to make sure that layer is selected. Now I can go ahead and start shading in only the areas that I have masked. You'll see if I try to go outside the masked boundaries, it won't let me. So I can go ahead and do anything I want within these boundaries here. And nothing is going to go outside of that area. Okay? 
All right, so that's the first idea on masking, and you can do this with multiple layers. So maybe we want to work on the white of the mouth and such like that. So I can go ahead and get my whites. I've made a new layer on top of the masked layer. That way it's visible. I'm going to go ahead and color in my white areas. And of course, I have this layer underneath my inked layer, so that way I can see the lines that are supposed to be my inked lines. So that means if this was above this, those would disappear, but I want to see those, so it's below it. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and just fill in the white areas that I want to have white, like that. And that's on its own layer now, so now I can right click, select pixels, it selected all the areas I painted, and I can make a mask of that. See that? And then if I want to then, then I can go in with darker grays or whatever I want within that layer, and I can darken up those areas now specifically as well. There we go. I'm used to working with other brushes so this is a little bit more unusual working with a hard brush but anyway usually I work with an airbrush when I do uh, um, all the painting on the inside. Alright so that's one option for doing um, masking. Um, I can cover another one in another tutorial, but I just wanted to keep this one simple for you. Anytime you want to do another layer, all you got to do is create that layer, uh, paint the area that you want to paint inside the layer, just to do it one more time, and then all you got to do is simply right click on the layer and say select pixels, and then hit this masked button right here and there you go you're all masked that's as easy as it needs to be beforehand I was telling you to paint it in a different color then you gotta go back around and select that color with, uh, with uh, the, the tool up here and then once you did that then you gotta go and do this and that and it took too long here's the simple way so thanks for watching guys make sure you check out my website timmichaelarts.com where I sell caricatures tutorials and a whole bunch of other stuff and uh, also I have my web comics on there so thank you very much for watching guys oh also subscribe to me on Twitter I guess that would be uh, follow me on Twitter uh, you can check you can watch me on DeviantArt um, and then also you can go to my friends um, you can go to my uh, my fan page on Facebook alright God bless you guys I will see you in the next tutorial we'll do probably one more on masking Thank you.